Well, after his performance at the Tata Steel Challengers 2022, all eyes were on Arjun Erigesi as how he would do at the national championship. And he has started off with a bang with four out of four. And we want to look at a few critical moments in his games. Here is his game in the first round uh, against Sriman Narayana. And Arjun is black. It was Sicilian. And this was the position that was reached. So let me just flip the board so that you can think what should black play in this position. Try to think, try to wrap your brain around what Arjun would come up with in this position. Okay, so there are many moves which are good, but Arjun's choice really shows his uh, kind of understanding of the positional features of so you could go bishop takes e3 queen takes e3 and then try to play c5 that is a possibility one move that many could think of is to play this way but after take take and f4 white is better here so you can't do that but arjun found this very nice move which is rook to b8 and in order to find this move you should be okay with your pawns getting doubled so knight c5 knight c5 and arjun is okay that he lost the bishop pair but his opponent now should have kept this bishop on the board but he got too tempted to take here now notice that these two pawns are doubled and isolated but they keep white pawns on the light squares which means that this bishop on d3 is very bad and also the rook can switch over and place itself on d4 rook c3 queen g5 bishop b1 rook d8 rook e3 and rook d4 and this was a complete victory of arjun's strategy as he went on to score a very convincing victory in the first round then in the next round Arjun was pitted against a young boy, uh, Ayush Sharma. So let's have a look at that game. This is Arjun in the second round. This time he had the white pieces. And uh, the game was very, very interesting. It started off as a Trompowski. And uh, Arjun got, <laughs> he moved his bishop many times, but this is all theory. He got the center and was doing very well. But then came a moment when Arjun was clearly better here. His opponent's last move was bishop f6. And it's your turn to think what should white play in this position. White is already uh, having a very strong passer. Also the black king is very weak. But pause the video and try to figure out what should white play here. White can move. Right, the move here and very nice move is a queen sacrifice. Queen takes f4. Kudos if you found it because after takes, you take on f6 and now the g5 knight is hanging. And even if you play, let's say h6, I take, queen takes, rook g5, king f7 and e5. And you can see that this bishop, rook and this bishop here ready to enter the rook ready to come here, the knight also planning to take this pawn or enter to e4. This is all a bit too much to handle. Uh, just a sample line here, check and white wins. But Arjun missed this opportunity, which is quite rare for him to miss such tactical chances. He played rook g3, which is still winning. Uh, opponent should have got his king out perhaps, king f8, but he played bishop g2 rook g1, queen h2, and now Arjun played queen f2, rook here, and takes. Finally, he did sacrifice material, bishop e5, and uh, super complicated position, but white is completely winning. This is pinned. Also, this can be taken because bishop cannot take queen hangs, rook cannot take this way, there is pressure. So, rook e8, bishop check, king here, and now knight takes f3. Very classy move. As if rook f3, uh, he found queen takes f3. And now, of course, if bishop f3, then you have bishop h2. So he played queen g1, check, and e5 when the game ended in a mate here. White ma managed to win. 
this game so arjun moved to two out of two moving on to the next round arjun on day two in the morning had the black pieces once again and you see that the level of opposition keeps uh, rising this time he faced sayantan das who is an im and uh, arjun now uh, reached you i just want to show you the opening e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 a6 bishop a4 and here guys the there are many many moves in this position knight f6 d6 b5 bishop c5 knight g7 which are more popular than what arjun played here he played the move f5 and although the schliemann or f5 is is well known in this position you know bishop b5 f5 after inserting a6 bishop e4 f5 is very risky and uh, sayantan das approached it correctly he went d4 ed e5 and white already has a nice position but i think arjun is in this mood that you know i want to just play risky chess i want to win games and this is at a rating of that he has of 2633 it can be very risky but that's what youngsters are yeah they are very ambitious castles knight a5 he took on d4 good move c5 and this is where uh, sayantan should have known a few games but i think he was not in his preparation duda versus tari is a very well known game which went knight f5 uh, c4 and now duda had gone knight c3 giving up that bishop when white has very good compensation but sayantan thought that c4 would trap his bishop so let me take here and after arjun takes i'll take on f5 but this was of course a mistake what should uh black do now try to think and come up with the move yes of course you take this knight now the bishop is hanging so the bishop went back but arjun now saved his pawn so the knight cannot come to c3 the bishop cannot come to e3 he went c3 but bishop c5 takes takes knight d2 and now arjun took one question to you in this position is what would you, he took with the queen by the way but what would you do if he takes with the knight black to move find the best move in the position yes it's a may it's a classy position queen g6 threatening a mate here notice how you can't play f3 because the bishop oops the bishop is pinning this pawn so he must play g3 and then the queen switches back and it's a forced mate on g2 this is the power of these two bishops on the long diagonal so this did not he took with the queen arjun played queen e6 rook e1 rook c8 and after this he got a nice position and he went on to win not without excitement but he won the game moving on to the fourth round arjun there was up against another strong im ravi teja and arjun playing with the white pieces this time actually the game uh was weird because he opened e4 and ravi likes to play the karo khan which he played in this game as well it's his favorite opening uh d4 d5 was played e5 bishop f5 h4 and now one would expect well the main move is h5 here or even there is a move like h6 in this position but ravi went for queen b6 which is also played but arjun now surprised him with knight e2 and here after 5 minutes of thought ravi played bishop g4 and already the position is getting very interesting because he's moving the same pieces again now arjun could play h3 as f3 as well but he went h5 h6 and now rook h4 activating the rook this way bishop d7 c4 e6 knight to c3 ravi now took knight came to g3 the c4 pawn is attacked the knight can come to e4 queen d8 rook is hanging so saved the rook with rook f4 b5 and now knight e4 so for one pawn white has amazing pieces and black 
has kind of not developed anything. His bishop on d7 is just in the way. f5 is like desperation in some ways. Arjun took knight f6, brought his queen out. And now bishop e7 was kind of forced. But he played knight a6. And I want you to think now, why to play? What would you do? Okay, so the move that could come to your mind is this. But after take, take, this is what Ravi would have thought knight b4. Threatening this, he can also get his bishop out later. This is a playable position for black. But you take on f6 with another piece, rook f6. And congratulations if you found this move. G takes knight f6, king e7, bishop f4. Now if you take on f6, I have... Well, there are many ways. I think bishop e5 or should at least do the trick but maybe i have something better yeah king e7 queen f6 king e8 queen g6 king e7 bishop here and i think i can just finish off the game this way so uh after knight f6 king e7 bishop f4 bishop e8 was played bishop e5 bishop g7 and now came a nice move by Arjun. I mean, there are many ways to win here, but knight d5 was nice. Um, also, very strong would have been d5, opening up the position even further. But d5 takes bishop g7. And now if you move the rook, let's say you go rook g8, then I have bishop f6 winning the queen. So that's why you have to go queen a5. He took the rook. And after check and knight d1, white is a piece up. And Arjun managed to win this game quite convincingly so with this arjun has moved to four out of four let's just have a look at what the standings are after round four aryan chopra is right at the top another youngster from india who is doing well gukesh is on number three arjun is on number two these three players are on four and four out of four uh, and then we have many many grandmasters on three and a half points we have harsha Adiban, Abhijit Gupta, Lalit Babu. We have also I am Aditya Mittal, I am Kostav Chatterjee and GM Mitra Baguha and Aronya Ghosh. So West Bengal players really doing well at the top. Um, and then we have many on three points as well. Um, just to show you a couple of things here. That after... His victory here, one thing which I have absolutely loved about Arjun always is the fact that he always analyzes his games um, with his opponent. And uh, just have a look at this. This video was captured by uh, Aditya Sur Roy. And, you know, Arjun wins, loses. He always talks with his opponent tells them about the moves, what he was thinking. And this is very uh, nice, respectful behavior. Also, it helps him to learn a lot. And in spite of, you know, being such a strong player, he is never uh, really, you know, arrogant. And that's a great quality to have. Uh, also, now Arjun has moved to a live rating of 2667. This is the juniors list and he is right now on number 3 position. He gains 34 points. He has gained uh, 27 ELO points from Tata Steel. 7 ELO points here. And if you look at India, he is now very firmly number 4 with 2667. Uh, Narayanan is right now number 4 with 2658 but on March 1st this would change. So great times for Indian chess. Arjun really moving towards 2700 mark. Today is Arjun versus Gukesh. Uh, just to show you this um, pairings for today. The fifth round it is going to be a blinder of a match with Gukesh taking on Arjun, Aryan Chopra against Lalit Babu, Adiban versus Harsha. And so we will keep bringing you live coverage from the national championship. This is Sagar Shah signing off for now. Bye-bye.